If you can't afford to live in Alaska, then move. That's one lawmaker's message to seniors. Representative Lynn Gaddis spoke with KTVA 11's Liz Raines today about the House's proposed cuts to senior programs. And Liz, she says seniors may be better off somewhere else. That's right, James and Emily. Representative Lynn Gaddis says Alaska is expensive and that icy conditions can be dangerous for seniors. She says with its tight budget, the state has to pick and choose what to pay for and shouldn't, quote, subsidize people to stay here. And Alaska has the fastest growing senior population in the nation. And today, a senior advocacy group warned that making those cuts to senior programs could have a ripple effect for the state. On Capitol Hill, a sea of red is flooding through the doors. It's the American Association of Retired Persons, better known as AARP. They warn the House has proposed $23 million in cuts to seniors could create a generational gap. I'm concerned that if too many cuts are made of things that are essential, we're going to see that kind of out-migration again of people that just say, you know, when I get older, I, there's not what I need here. Representative Lynn Gaddis says she doesn't think that's a bad thing. Alaska is a tough uh, state for older folks to live in, slipping, falling, icy, so on and so forth. So if you're not working on a fixed income, uh, sometimes there are other places that are less expensive to live. Ken Hellander with the AARP says if you ask most seniors and their families, they don't want to leave. Here, I certainly had, had that in my mind that I wanted to grow old and die here in Alaska. I don't know if I'm going to be able to. Um, it frightens me. People have family here. Shouldn't they be able to stay? They should be able to if they can afford it. Gaddis says the state has to pick and choose carefully where to put its money. Do you put it in corrections? Do you put it in subsidizing people to stay here because that's what they thought that they wanted to do? And she'll have to ask her constituents one question before reaching in their pockets. Is that a program that you're willing to pay for? Studies by the Alaska Commission on Aging show seniors as a whole are high contributors to the state. At least two $2.4 billion annually to Alaska's economy, and the retirement industry is one of the state's top economic sectors. Here's where it comes personal to me is my mom is going to be 90 on March 9th. Senator Donnie Olson says he pays close attention to senior benefits and programs. One of these days, I'm going to be 90, I hope to be 90 anyway, and so that I'm going to be, and I'm not going to wish that, you know, 20 years ago when I was in the Senate that I, or 30 years ago, that, um, that I had done something different. After the House wraps up its work, Olson and his Senate colleagues will take the next stab at the budget and say right-sizing could mean adding money back in. There may be situations like this where we went too far. Senator Olson told us today he's already hearing from some of his constituents who are concerned about how those cuts to senior programs could be particularly harmful in rural Alaska. There's still a chance for people to have their say. When can we weigh in on that budget? Well, James, right now, public testimony on the budget is being taken by region. Tonight, lawmakers are hearing from members of the Juneau community. They'll be taking public testimony in Anchorage on Wednesday from 1 to 4.30 p.m., and you can participate by going to the Anchorage LIO. James and Emily. All right, Liz Raines, live in Juneau tonight.